Hey, my name is Rixel. I told you guys this is Soroti and it's Emuria TV. Just like I've been telling you, we try to link up with a lot of guys from different places. And on my right, I have a biggest icon, a biggest icon. I don't even think how much he doesn't make an introduction. <laughs> He's already a brand, you just see the face, you can read the name in him. But probably for the starters, yes. our names. My name is Douglas Wanga, call me a TV personality, event organizer, brand influencer, ambassador, and of course a philanthropist at the Skills Clinic. Okay, so uh, Douglas, you as a brand, you have actually you have inspired a lot and many people yes. out there in the industry and out of the industry, young people at school and also those bigger people, I'm sure there are people who look at it and be like, I want my child to be like Douglas. So probably starting on that one specifically, if one person wants to be like Douglas, I'm sure they can't be exactly like Douglas, but probably something like Douglas. Yeah. What roads or what, what routes should they uh, take or what other things should they do in order to be like Douglas? So you cannot be like Douglas, that's number one. You have to first accept that you cannot be Douglas. Douglas. Yes. So if you accept that, when I came to this industry, there are people that were really, really great and big, yeah? And everybody wanted to be just like them. So I was like, no, I'm going to do me, be me, natural me, no copying nobody. And of course, that's the road I followed. But of course, still, you can also start from ground, from, from down, yeah? yeah? My personality, I started from down before I elevated to TV personality. So you always be willing to start from the bottom and climb up. So if you can start from the bottom, climb up, stay natural, stay you, uh, I think you can be great. Okay, still uh, staying you and being great. Uh, actually, I'm one of the people who used to look up to you. Yes. And I'm proud of it because today I'm standing with... Uh, uh, I was a shadow, I would say. Yes. Yeah, now I, it's like images. So still talking about this, uh, yeah. the TV industry and music at large. Yes. Uh, when you look at it, what is that warning you love to give uh, those people? According to the experience you've gained in, yes. this very, media. in media, yeah. what is the warning that you would give them to try to curb them and try to prevent them from getting other ways mm. or spoils kind of that mm. and forgetting about sticking onto media and probably the things that you do. So if you're a person who is pursuing media studies, you're at campus, you're at a university or you want to be like him or me, uh, number one is media has no money. That's the fact number one. <laughs> media has no money but you can use the platform to earn lots of money That's by no using money. A lot of things. I started events. I mean, to you know, philanthropy. Uh, you use the platform because the platform allows you to network with a lot of people. Yeah. Okay. So that's the only thing that majorly you have to extract from the media. And if you use that, you will be still great. Like I said. Okay. Talking about one of your brands that yes. you came up with, one of the biggest parties we have in Uganda. Definitely, I'm talking about the purple party. Yes. Last time you rocked it in Mbale, it was all massive. Massive. Can yeah. you try to give us a uh, how did you come up with this idea of purple party <laughs> yeah. and did you see it from somebody mm. or something that you cooked up? How so it was just a simple party because I'm a TV personality. It is a party that I started to just like celebrate the people that watch me on TV. Oh. I was to get together and just like, you know, celebrate end of year. Like it was December. kind of a fun party. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it yeah. was uh, something small for just 500, 600 people. Then of course it started going really, really big. The place that we were having it in, it's called Bulldog in Wandegea became really really small wow. and so we took it outside to Lido Beach it sold out and the people up country that used to watch the show were like but we want you we want you know we are also your fans up just country. like us in Soroti ah, we, want it. <laughs> we want it politics 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 <laughs> but Soroti we are coming yeah I was talking to my friend Sam I was telling him Organizing these events, you know, take a lot. It's a lot of costs. Yeah? So for us to say that we are coming to Soroto, we need to be really, really sure that people are going to turn up. It's not just for us to... But I can assure them. you, uh, because according to the time I've been following Papo Party, yes. you've taken it to the bigger towns. Masaka, yes. Port Porto, Masaka has never been there, so we've been to Port, uh, uh, Port, Port Mbale, Murara, Lira, um, Jinja, Mbale. Uh -huh, so yeah. now, why are you trying to... Okay, let me not ask that one. It why? takes time. When no, are you... No, I want to tell you that it takes time <laughs> okay. for us to build momentum. I, 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 place. Okay. So, so, so Soroti is one... Of, let me tell you the places that we really are going to come like very, very soon. soon. Mm -hmm. Soroti is one of them. Soroti. Yes. And Arua. Then, We've never been to Arua. Okay. That's like one town. Mm. Kavali. Yeah. Those three districts. Those are the places that we are headed to next. But first, 
it was completely safe. Okay, mm. actually, that is good news for sorority people. Purple party is coming. I uh, shall be communicating the date and probably the details on uh, other things who Douglas Banga is bringing. So, still, probably as we wind up, uh, we, we saw a little bit fights in, in uh, media mm. or probably in the music industry. You, as that person, one of the people who put an eye into mm. the music industry. Yeah. We have artists here in Teso who try to make it, mm. but uh, as at the same time they are trying to fight each other mm. for the reasons that are probably not clear. Yeah. Uh, maybe I want you to give an advice to these artists in Soroti mm. or in Teso mm. uh, that can make them bigger artists like the Bebe Kuz, the Jose Chameleons, the Diamond Platinums, mm. probably something like that. Okay, number one is there is no such artist as Teso artist, Bali artist, Ginger artist, Barara artist. That's, oh, there is nothing like that. Thank you for the correction. There, there's something, and, and that's the thing. It's not by, by the your problem. It's a problem with the artist. Yeah. Mm. Somebody sits in Soroti and says, "I am a Teso artist." Mm. But music is a universal language. Mm. They are all artists. There is a guy called Easy from Gulu. Yeah. Easy has hit the entire nation. That is true. So should Easy say, "I am a Gulu artist," or Easy should say, "I am a Ugandan artist"? Actually, he's a Ugandan artist. Exactly. Mm. So if you make yourself smaller you will be taken smaller. There's nothing like Teso artists. Now for the thing about the fights and all that stuff, it comes from ego. Mm. Somebody feels that I am the biggest in Teso. Mm. I am the biggest in Imbari. I am the biggest in Jinja. Mm. And, and I, f I find that very, very petty, yeah? Because you could be the biggest in Teso and I drop you in Imbarara and nobody knows you. That is true. You understand? True. Yeah, so what I'm saying is first, good you're big in Teso, you're big in Imbarara, but guess what? Conquer more territories. Conquer more territories. territories. If you conquer all the territories, you have a right to fight, you have a right to have ego, you have a right to be proud. Okay, can you tell us probably some of the artists that you know from this side, Eastern Uganda and specifically the Teso region? I know for, for uh, old school, I know uh, Washington for real. Washington, new yeah, school, legendary. New school, I know a boy called Lucky Joe, like that's like my boy. Lucky Joe. Yeah, Lucky yeah, Joe. Yeah, yeah. I, I used not to have a lot of talent coming in from Teso, but uh, this boy, when he started up, you know, I was like, you know, I, I linked him up to Nesim and uh, Nesim produced like his songs up to now. That was so I'm really, really proud that, you know, uh, you know, his music has been like growing. I was recently with him in Mbale okay. and the club was singing song per song, per song per song. So this shout out to you, my boy, Lucky Joe. Yeah. Okay, apart from Lucky Joe, have you heard of names like uh, Roddy Governor? Hey, Roddy is from this side. Yeah, I thought he's from Bali. No way. Roddy is from Soroti. <laughs> hey! How about <laughs> names like uh, Candyman? No, Kaliman, no, but Roddy, we've worked with Roddy, you know, a number of times. Definitely. Sh shout out to you, my brother. Respect. Okay, so probably as we wind up, I want you to say a word to your fans as Douglas and fans of Purple Party and probably some other things that you do out there. So thank you so much, guys, for supporting the Purple Party. It's the biggest celebration of Ugandan music, but before it even comes to your town, download Ugandan music. Go out to the concerts wherever you see Ugandan artists, support them because this is our own. When you support a Ugandan artist, they will come to the club, they'll pay entrance fee, the bouncer gets paid, the manager gets paid, the waiter gets paid. You understand? Mm -hmm. The money stays down here. And that's the instance of the Purple Party. Yeah? So keep supporting our own until we come down to your town. But again, I want to tell you, we opened a brand new school. It's called the Skills Clinic Foundation. Go down on our website, which is www.skillsclinic.org. Now, this is a foundation that's just helping our people solve the unemployment problem. Uganda mm. has a very high challenge of youth unemployment. Yeah? Yeah, a lot true. of young people don't have jobs. So what is the solution? The solution is not for us to go to schools, university and all that stuff. The solution is for us to learn skills. Yeah, uh, How to hold a camera, how to edit, do graphics, do all these amazing, amazing wow. things. Wow. Creative arts, it's digital like a technology. School. Not only multimedia, a lot of, a things, lot of but things, but generally skills. Thank, Thank you guys. You. All right, thank you. That has been Douglas Luanga, the Purple Party Master out there. And of course, you might be wondering where we are standing. This is our rock, Soroti guys. You know what I'm talking about. I remain Rick LMC. And of course, I want to thank you guys for following Emria TV. And maybe, by the way, for the fans of Emria TV, Douglas. Yes. Like, uh, people who watch Emria TV yes. out there. Oh, for the fans of Emirate, uh, thank, thank you so much for supporting <laughs> local content. Sorry, I have to do this on Snapchat. <laughs> okay, yeah, I need to do I want to sign out for your fans on Snapchat. Yeah, yeah, My no, name no. is Rixel, it's been Douglas and Rixel. I sign out, follow Emirate TV on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Jobless. Yeah, thank you.